Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Game Development Log Video Diary and this week I started work on a whole load of things including a visual effect editor tool. So first off this week I added support for visual effects into the weapon and armour system and I've got an example of that here with this glowing spirit sword. The effect doesn't look that great right now but that's mainly because the effect editor isn't quite up and running yet so I'm still having to hard code all of the settings for the effects. I also did the same for the animation and the attack system so visual effects can now be part of any attack or animation. Again, I still haven't got the effect editor working yet but I did hard code this beam attack to give you an idea of how the effects might be used in combat. And when I'm finished with visual effects they'll be able to be used together with particle effects and sound effects which will hopefully allow for some exciting attacks. The next thing that I did this week was to start work on a way to edit these visual effects and first off I created a new visual effects component in the entity editor which allows you to add visual effects to an entity and then edit them. So here I've got an overview of the effect and I can change the texture atlas for the effect if I want and I can determine the timing of the effect so I could make it loop round or I could just make it be on continuously. Down here I can add new components to the effect so I could add a cylinder or a beam and I can add as many components as I want. Then up here this shows a list of all the effect components and this allows you to choose a component and then remove it or edit it and eventually to duplicate it once I've got that feature working. So now I'm going to select the point sprite which is this glowing effect here and I'm going to edit it. Now obviously I'm still in the middle of programming this so there aren't many features here yet but I can at least give you an idea of how it's going to work. So there are some timing settings here and then you can choose whether or not to use additive blending and then here you've got the drivers for the different variables of the effect. So at the moment the x, y, z positions and the scale of this effect are all constant so they're all using a constant driver and you can choose here what that constant value is. However, you can also set other driver types to control these variables. So I'm going to edit the scale driver and I'm going to make it a sine wave driver which will cause the scale value to oscillate and I'm going to make it oscillate between a scale value of 3 and 10 and it will complete one oscillation every 2 seconds. And you can see that the scale of that effect is now being controlled by this driver. And I can do this for any of the drivers, so once I've got the texture blending options all set up here, uh, you'll be able to achieve some very nice effects by changing the various drivers. When you're finished editing a component you can just click done and it takes you back to the overview. So obviously I've still got a lot of work to do on this but hopefully I'll be able to get it all done early next week. Also this week I've been trying to spruce up the look of the game by adding in a few more models and areas. So I'm in the middle of creating this woodland area here and I made use of the new visual effects by creating this nice new lantern model which has a small glowing effect. I also attempted to make a new tree model for the game which is this tree here and it could be worse. And finally thanks to a suggestion that I got yesterday I've just started work on this new area here which has some rather more interesting terrain structures. For this week though, that is it. Next week I'm going to be finishing off the effects editing panel in the entity editor as well as getting started with the new attack editor tool and hopefully I'll also be able to finish off those new areas in the world. You can see more updates about the game during the week on any of my social media pages, links are in the description below. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a brilliant week and I will see you all next time.